Let's face it, writing a resume is probably not your idea of fun. Yet you hear people telling you time and again, redo your resume, write your resume, make it uh, objective, make it quantifiable, write accomplishments, and you feel like tearing your head. Am I right? Hi, I'm Fatima. I'm a career growth strategist. And in my videos, I help career professionals like you build their career brand so that they can get hired to a job they love and land a six-figure career growth. So continue watching this video because I'm going to be sharing with you five tips that you need or five mistakes that you need to avoid on your resume. Mistake number one, being too generic. So what do I mean by this? Do you know the top section of your resume where you add your name and your job title? Some people tend to add multiple job titles and a very generic job title over there. So this is the number one mistake. What happens because of this mistake? The person who's reviewing your CV, they will not be able to understand in the first one second or two seconds what exactly is your role. So they're going to have to move down to the next section. So that section is your mistake number two. So the mistake number two is your about section. So the about section is also very generic. You normally add an objective like looking to join a company where I can excel in my skills. Everybody is interested to know what you can do, but what they are interested to do is how you can do what you can do. I hope that makes sense, right? So rather than telling people that you can do this or you can do that, what you need to do is in your objective section, you need to mention your talent brand summary. So I'm going to add a link where I explain how to create a talent brand summary in the description box. So click on that so you can learn how to write a talent brand summary. So what is a talent brand summary? A talent brand summary is a three step elevator pitch formula. Meaning when you see someone and if they ask you to introduce yourself, what would you tell them in that 60 to 180 seconds? That should be the information that is contained in the first part of your objective or career summary. Remember that, that's mistake number two. Mistake number three is adding irrelevant information. Meaning, if you're applying to a HR job, you do not need to add jobs that were in other uh, industries until and unless you are mentioning the transferable skills there. But just occupying space with that irrelevant job detail if you do not know how to write your transferable skills. So normally when you know, people join the resume mastery course, what they learn to do is how to mention only the transferable skills from other jobs which are not relevant to their current job. In this way, the employer will understand even if this person has worked in other industries or other job titles, they have the skills that is required for this particular job. The most important mistake of all is you know, mistakes on the resume, grammatical mistakes, no proper sentence structure, no proper punctuations. Now, if you say you are someone who is good at communication and if your language on the resume does not communicate the same, you know, you're talking two different languages. It's like you're saying black is white. So please make sure that you remove all cliche buzzwords which are not relevant to your resume and proofread your resume so that it is grammatically correct. There are no spelling mistakes. And also, you don't need to add irrelevant information. Like I said in the previous point, you don't need to add your house address, your door number. All of that information is not required. They're not going to come to your house and interview you, are they? You just need to add your city, your name, your phone number, and your LinkedIn profile, which is in the top section of your resume. And the final mistake is mistake number five, which decides if you are the right person for the job. Not quantifying your results. Most of you do something which is absolutely appalling to some recruiters, which is copy paste the job description on each section of the company that you worked in. Meaning that let's say if you want to apply for a human resource specialist job, some people just copy the job description of a human resource specialist and paste it there. That is a big, big no. What you actually need to do is write how you can solve that particular tasks in that job on your resume and you have to quantify it. So what is quantifying? You have to use numbers and measurable quantities. For example, if you say, I am an excellent team manager, you need to say, how did you manage that team? So you could say, well, I managed a 10 member team by helping them to effectively use X, Y. So when you do that, you're also explaining how many people you manage and what are the skills that you use to manage these people. So I hope this was super useful. If it was super useful, 
please go ahead and like comment let me know what you th- what how this helps you please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and let me know that you really you know these tips were really useful for you so that i can continue making these videos see you in the next video